Okay, Dr. Pete, we're gonna play a little psychological game here. I am going to create a sculpture here. Okay. You have to close your eyes. This is very important. And I am going to sculpt something, and when I am done sculpting it, you are going to tell me what it is. Okay. All right, open your hands. Right. There we go. All right, it has a head. Mm hmm That's sort of two round things at the base, cylindrical. I mean, I'm a urologist, Chad. You could have given me something harder. This is... Something harder? Yeah. You say that I give you a, a soft sculpture? <laughs> I think this is a penis and testicles. You are very close. This is a champagne bottle. Uh, oh, okay. This is, the, see the cork right up top? Invented, Did you go to art school? You invented two testicles out of nothing. Hello and welcome to Uncomfortable Questions with Hims. I am Chad Callahan from Hims. With me we have Dr. Peter Stahl, who is a board certified urologist. He is a nationally renowned expert in sexual medicine and the senior vice president of men's sexual health for Hims. Thank you for being with us. I am thrilled to be here, Chad. So today we're gonna to talk about <clears throat> something that a lot of folks out there are asking about. They're searching for it on the internet. They desperately wanna know about male enhancement pills, specifically FDA approved male enhancement pills. So these are pills that presumably have been approved by the FDA for penis enlargement, for um, ejaculatory prowess, for sexual performance in bed. So can you tell me what FDA approved such products exist? Well, this is going to be a short episode, Chad. There is no such product. Uh, the FDA has not approved any oral or other type of medication to make the penis bigger, to increase ejaculatory volume, or to really accomplish any of the male enhancement claims that are often seen in advertisements all over the place. So there's no pill I can take to make my penis bigger? No, Chad. Tell me what pills have been approved by the FDA when it comes to sexual performance. Yeah, well, there is some good news, right? Because the FDA has approved uh, actually four medications to improve blood flow to the penis and okay. to enhance uh, erectile function. This sounds promising. Yeah, yeah. So these are the ED medications that a lot of people are familiar with. Uh, the four of them are sildenafil, which is the active ingredient in Viagra, Tadalafil, the active ingredient in Cialis, Vardenafil, the active ingredient in Levitra, or another drug called Staxin, which is related to Levitra, and Avanafil, which is the active component of Stendra. So, so that's it, those are the four. Those are the four phosphodiesterase five. Phosphodiesterase five. Inhibitors that are the oral medications that improve penile blood flow and erectile function in the United States. So those are the four drugs that the FDA has approved. They do not do any of the things that a lot of these male enhancement products claim. They're not about ejaculatory volume, they're not about enlarging the penis, but they do help treat erectile dysfunction if you have trouble getting or staying hard. That's right. Okay, so I'm sure you are thrilled to learn that I have dun, 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 another game prepared for us. So I'm going to list features of these four FDA approved drugs for the treatment of erectile dysfunction, and you are going to tell me which drug they are referring to. That sounds great, but before we do that, can you pass me the, the head of your champagne bottle there? Dr. Pete, this is how much I love you. I'm going to destroy my masterpiece so that you can create something even more masterful. Thank you so much. Thank you. Let's, let's get it on with the game. Let's do it. I think it's like a snowman with a hat now. <laughs> um, all right, so we have number one here. Okay, this medication has been approved by the FDA for the treatment of ED since the 90s. A single dose starts working within an hour and has an active window of about four hours. In clinical trials, more than 80% of men reported improvements in their ED at the highest dose. Okay, so you're talking about uh, the OG, Viagra. Ding, ding, ding! Sildenafil. Uh, Correct. So, yeah, so that was the first drug that was approved. It's the most commonly prescribed ED med um, in the United States. And uh, it's really it was a pioneering drug that helped a lot of men. We are off to a great start. Okay, number two. This medication is a longer lasting medication that has an active window of 36 hours per okay. dose. 
This feature has earned it the nickname The Weekend Pill. And this drug might be best for guys who either have sex multiple times a day, or if they don't want to have to worry about timing their dosage correctly. Okay, so you, my friend, are talking about Tadalafil. How does he do it? The active ingredient in Cialis. Yeah. Um, Tadalafil is a really great option for men with less predictable sex lives um, because it has a very long therapeutic window. It's also unique in that you can take it every day. So uh, because of its long half-life, which is how long it takes to get eliminated from your body, if a, a man takes Tadalafil every day, uh, it builds up to a certain level, and that allows for more spontaneous sexual activity. So it's a really good option for a lot of men. Number three is, okay, this one, this one's a tricky one. This one starts working in one hour and is effective for up to six and it is similar to sildenafil. I think you are talking about vardenafil with a V, the, uh, the active ingredient in Levitra. That's correct. Okay. Okay. What are the differences between vardenafil and sildenafil? Yeah, they're pretty similar drugs, um, but they, there are some differences in side effect profiles. Okay. And there are some uh, specific cardiac contraindications, so heart, heart issues that if you have it, it's safe to take sildenafil, but not vardenafil. It's important to note generally, though, that these medications are actually very safe for the heart. A lot of people have a misconception that ED drugs are bad for your heart, but that is not true. It's just that vardenafil has one specific issue with a particular heart problem called long QT syndrome. And if you have that, it's not the drug for you. And so the way I'm going to know whether or not this drug is right for me, I just want to speak with a licensed provider and they'll let me know? That's right. All right. Okay, last one, number four. This is the newest FDA-approved ED medication on the market. Okay. It is more selective than other medications. It targets specific enzymes that control blood flow, specifically to the penis. It is faster to work with a single dose beginning to work in 15 to 30 minutes in some men. You are talking about Stendra. That is it, four for four. Okay. Um, yes, yeah, Stendra is the most uh, recently approved FDA drug. It is the only one that was studied at the 15 minute time point and has uh, well-established proven efficacy very early on. So um, it is a good option for uh, men who want very quick onset of, uh, of action. I have one more very important question for you, Dr. Pete. Okay. What the f is that? Well, I think it's you. What do you think? You wanna stand up for everybody? I, I couldn't find red, but your, leg, your left leg might fall off. But what do you think? I think it's beautiful. I worked on it for you, Chad. I've never felt so seen before. Speechless. Yeah. This is the nicest gift anyone's ever given me. It's my pleasure, Chad. <laughs> Thank you for joining us for Uncomfortable Questions. If you're as uncomfortable as I am right now, please hit that thumbs up button and please hit that subscribe button. And we'll try to make you even more uncomfortable next time. It was a lot of fun, Chad.